Professor Edward O. Wilson from Harvard University identified and classified 362 different species of ants. This is the largest number of ant species ever recorded in a single location in the world. Jaguars, tapirs, peccaries, pacas, and many snake species inhabit the understory. Crawling species such as tamanduas, birds, termites, bats and lizards live in the upper story. The canopy harbors the greatest diversity of fauna, including numerous species of monkeys, birds, bats, reptiles, amphibians and many others. The harpy eagle at the top of the food chain patrols the forest from privileged lookouts in the upper canopy and emergent layer. Researchers have identified 362 species of ants, 315 species of butterflies, 468 spiders, 44 different mollusks, and over 400 bird species, among many others within Inca Terra's ecological reserve. Scientists from the prestigious Missouri Botanical Garden have classified 1,266 vascular plant species within Inca Terra's ecological reserve. Evidence has shown that one single tree in the Amazon can harbor more plant species, many of them epiphytes, than one hectare of healthy forest in Europe. As part of their voluntary commitment, since 1975, Inca Terra has regularly sponsored scientific research, beginning with a rapid ecological assessment paid by Inca Terra and conducted by the California Academy of Science and Berkeley University. These prestigious institutions send their most talented researchers, including the world-renowned mammalian expert, Dr. James Patton, Dr. Ned Johnson, and Dr. Ned Papenfus, among other faculty, to work together in assessing the intrinsic value of the region, as well as the importance of its conservation. The results were very encouraging. Five new species of frogs, Illa keclini, Illa alenorum, Sinas ictericus, Philomedusa atelopoides and Altigius alius. And one vine have been discovered within the reserve, and there are still various new species waiting to be described. Brazil nut trees are among the most important tree species in the Amazon because of their role in the local economy. Locally referred to as castaña, this nut is harvested every year by local residents. After a long series of procedures, the delicious and nutritious nuts finally reach processing plants where they are covered by chocolate and other delicacies. The castañeros, or Brazil nut producers, have organized themselves to obtain forestry and organic certification that allows them to export Brazil nuts to the most demanding markets. In this way, the conservation and sustainable use of Brazil nut forests is guaranteed. In addition, this activity has become a vital source of employment. The rubber tree is another important native tree of the Amazon. Latex manually extracted from this tree is processed as raw material to produce tires and other products that require natural organic latex. The Madre de Dios forest holds the world record for mammalians, birds, amphibians, butterflies, insects and ants. As your host, Reserva Ecológica Incaterra, Rey, is proud to say that here, on our grounds, over 400 species of birds have been recorded in less than one square kilometer. Because it is home to the greatest known diversity of living species, the Amazon Basin is known as the Noah's Ark of the planet. Its critical environmental services provide equilibrium to the Earth's ability to host life. Therefore, the health of the Amazon region is fundamental to our common future. Forests are extremely important carbon traps. 
Each hectare of tropical rainforest captures and retains nearly 350 tons of carbon within its biomass. The Amazon plays a critical and a strategic role in maintaining the planet's climate in balance, helping to counter global warming. 100 million hectares of Amazonian rainforest have been slashed and burned to date. If this activity continues at the current rate, at least 105 billion of tons of carbon dioxide will be released into the atmosphere, resulting in a global disaster. The Kyoto Protocol, signed in 1997 by most of the world's countries, highlights the key role the Amazon rainforest will play in mitigating future climate change and global warming. Over the past 500 years, numerous efforts to develop the Amazon have brought with them destruction and burning of forests. Practices such as cattle ranching, single crop farming, and other unsustainable agricultural activities were introduced. When the forests vanish, the few nutrients remaining in the soil are washed away by heavy rains and the soil is degraded. Soil degradation is intense in the entire Amazon region. As a result, many immigrants' colonists continue to live in extreme poverty. Ten million hectares of healthy forests have been slashed and burned in the Peruvian Amazon to introduce crops and livestock. At least eight of those ten million hectares are currently barren. Poverty is widespread in the entire Amazon region. In some areas, the number of coca plantations has grown at an alarming rate. Most of the coca leaves are used to produce cocaine for the international drug traffic. Amazonian countries are making great efforts to protect biodiversity in the region. Incaterra Association works to improve the quality of life of local populations of human populations as also of flora and fauna. At least 50 million hectares of protected areas have been established in the Amazon Basin, including national parks, reserves and sanctuaries, among others. Currently, there are 12 million protected hectares in the Peruvian Amazon. Madre de Dios is home to several of the most important of these areas, such as the Manu, and Bawaja Sonene National Parks, the Tambopata National Reserve, and the Amaracaeri Communal Reserve. These four protected areas cover 46% of the region, an area almost similar in size to the country of Costa Rica. Manu National Park, a 1.7 million hectare living Eden, has been declared a Biosphere Reserve and a World Heritage Site by UNESCO.